Okay, good afternoon everyone. I know it has been a long day um, and we are all standing, we are all all jumping on a, on a many different things to do in a single day. So thank you, appreciate you joining here and appreciate um, as we introduce this new uh, Litmus AI, um, we like we are showing it on the on all the screens here at Hanover Messe as well. But this is the public release. All the features that you see from here this point onwards, they are all publicly available. It's all ready to go. You can sign up for the uh, for, uh, for the trial and beta as well. So let's take a step back. Uh, if we if we look at uh, journey of Litmus, if we look at uh, what we have been doing since 2018. The first, the, the, the idea really started with the data. The idea really started with where is the data on the, on the manufacturing environment? Where is the data that is located on the plant floor? That was the starting point. As of this moment, customers trust Litmus across five steps of their data journey. It starts with the data collection. It starts with, okay, let's go ahead and collect data from available in a, all of these modern legacy systems, wherever data is available, let's just go ahead and collect it. As soon as we collect the data, how do you contextualize that data? How do you transform that data into something more usable? Might have to model it, might have to analyze it, might have to process that data. So how do you contextualize it? Then go one step further, which is, I got all of this data, how do I calculate KPIs out of it? That is driving business results, might be uptime, might be simple as downtime, energy monitoring systems. So Litmus has been doing it in, as a part of Ready Analytics over the last, last few years. Then integrate all this data into one centralized system, might be our partners like Azure, AWS, GCP, um, utilize the cloud infrastructure level to really centralize all the data which is available. So we have been doing that, been doing quite well successfully across large amount of sites in a very scaled up way by utilizing our central management feature which is allowing users to scale. So this is pre-Litmus AI introduction, which is customers do trust us across these five steps of their initial projects all the way to global rollouts in a way that they can readily use. Now, if we really talk about AI itself, it's, it's really um, introduce, introducing AI in this journey from data transformation, edge analytics and integration. The, the, the idea really is how do we introduce AI that enhances the existing workflows or existing um, implementation that they already have. So I still remember the day chat GPT was introduced within one week, we were all litmus team, we were already jumping on it that how do we introduce this LLMs, SLMs, everything else as a part of the product itself. But if you, if you really understand, um, like right now, when we talk to customers, AI projects, this is created by McKinsey. AI projects, they are in this loop as of this moment. First of all, you have to identify the problem. I want to improve my operations. I want to decrease my downtime. I want to, I want to increase my uptime. I want to help our customers do better with, their, with the products that they have. So they start with the definition of problem. Then they are capturing data, storing the data, structuring or cleaning up the data. Then keep on doing it until, until it's ready to define and optimize the operations itself and then implement the AI. So pretty much every AI project has a data problem to begin with. This is not us, this is industry wide. Everybody has a very similar problem to begin with. And alternatives or approaches, alternative approaches itself, they are stuck there. So what did we do? Since the introduction of Litmus product, this is I'm talking about 2015, 16 timeframe. The day zero activity for us was to make sure we have a clean contextualized data from the industrial environment. That was day zero. We introduced MLOps, uh, journey with the TensorFlow, journey with um, all the different types of machine learning, deep leap learning, physics aware, aware models itself, vision processing in 2019. And we introduced the first AI use case in 2022. Once again, if we go inside this industrial AI stack, the first one that we introduce or pretty much every use case that you will see on the plant floor has this reference architecture. You will start with the source of the data. Then you are going to go with the vector DB. You're going to have um, uh, like some sort of a gen AI orchestration layer, might be AI agents, might be native AI LLM call itself. And then you are going to implement the applications on the top of it. This is again, industry-wide architecture. 
if we take this to customers, like right now, everybody's trying co-pilots, everybody's trying chatbots, everybody's trying some sort of agentic AI approach. It's just time to implement, time to get value out of it. It's months, years, and we don't have that much time to when you are dealing with AI. It has to be magic. It has to be running right now. So our idea was, how do we introduce this AI as a part of the existing data journey that we already crafted across customers? And that's what we are introducing today. We introduced it last month at, at a prove it event, but the, the public release is available as of today. The edge analytics, the uh, about 95% of our customers, they use this work as a part of Litmus product. Um, as soon as we collect data from, let's say, CNC machine, robotic system, we collect data from any of these different systems. Previously, customers were just writing algorithms, analytical algorithms, to calculate the KPIs. Now, as we introduce this AI block itself, the idea is we can just tell LLM, SLM, to go understand what's going on with the machine and get the results right there at the edge. This is like brilliant. This is mind blowing because we are not asking you to go to chat GPT or Gemini in, in the cloud. This is the existing data workflow from CNC machines. Understand the alarm, ask AI that you are the CNC operator. Tell me what's wrong with my machine right now. It is going to give you the result. We are going to show the demonstration of it as well, but it's going to generate the results right here. Now I'm going to push it, push it into SAP. I'm going to push it into Oracle and ask it to create a work order, implement the, the journey afterwards as well. So the idea is this block is, is just insanely powerful in terms of what it brings to the existing data workflow. That is the announcement number one. Each and every of the screen here, you should be able to see the demonstration live. Ask, ask this AI block that my, my problem statement is energy monitoring. My problem statement is CNC machines. My problem statement is um, like boiler. Ask it and ask, uh, here is the real data, what do I do with it? It will give you the result right away. This is the power of, power of LLM, SLM. That's announcement number one. Announcement number two is really Litmus and majority of our customers, they have uh, more than 50 facilities, more than 50 plants, 50 manufacturing sites. Um, currently, we have a Litmus Edge Manager as a central product. It takes sometimes hours to roll out across five sites, 10 sites, 20 sites. We wanted to challenge ourselves. We wanted to understand if I am IT global admin of the year 2027, how do I envision AI helping me in managing the global infrastructure? So we created AI agents specifically for rolling out edge installations all across the world. So we created this agent, uh, the live demonstration is there right now. We can provision AKS, Litmus Edge running inside it, EKS, Google and Toes, Dell Native Edge. As long as the infrastructure exists in a manufacturing environment, we can provision all the data collection, analytical, and all the other services with one command line. We're just telling, deploy Litmus Edge on 100 sites. It takes on an average three minutes for us to provision Litmus on 100 sites right now. So that's the second big announcement that we made. Like right after that, um, like what we are thinking is how do we, uh, like how do we uh, host the models, LLMs and SLMs right at the edge? So as a part of the product itself, now we have a support from NVIDIA GPU drivers. So we don't even have to call the uh, machine learning model, uh, LLM models outside the Litmus Edge. Those models can be hosted right, right at the edge inside Litmus Marketplace itself. So the complete journey, start with the um, GPU capable hardware, install Litmus Edge on the top of it, create the workflow, host the, host the LLM models right inside the Litmus Edge, make the API call and get the result. Completely standalone, completely air-gapped, privacy first, latency first infrastructure, uh, low latency infrastructure, which is running right at the edge. So we are very much, very excited. We are showing a lots of demonstrations around it as well. If you want to get hands-on, just join the beta trial right now. Um, this one is available as of this moment. And everybody that joins here, you should be able to try, try the platform right now. With this, I'm going to show the live demonstration of the platform itself. So we'll shift it. This is the latest version where 
uh, like one of the first thing that we are going to do is introduce the models as a part of this journey itself. So let's start there. The, uh, in the latest version, you can go and connect the AI models and there is a list of different types of model providers which are available. It might be open, AP, open AI, which is privately hosted on the customer's tenant itself or something like Olama, which is running inside Litmus Edge as of this moment. So depending on uh, which LLM, um, which uh, modality or which LLM is critical, you should be able to connect it to the specific model right away. What we have done on the top is we have integrated for the demonstration purposes, we are doing open AI integration. So open AI has a chat GPT 4.0 mini. Again, uh, it's a standard, everybody uses the same model. Um, we have integrated that model as a part of AI journey. Now, let's go to the workflow itself. So as a part of the workflow, a little bit complex, but as a part of the workflow, the first element of it is we are collecting data from real systems. We are collecting data from, uh, we are collecting data from live CNC machine here, which is CNC machine is telling us that I have an error. error. I have this specific problem inside the system right now. So if you see that error, it will normally show. Yeah, sure. And then afterwards, we are pushing that into that AI node. Normally, as, a, as, a, as an engineer, before this AI block, what I would do is, if CNC machine tells me that my, uh, my feed rate is too high or my cutting tool has a problem, so I'm going to write the logic. If cutting tool has a problem, write this logic here. Rather than that, we are just asking this AI that you are the CNC expert or you are the reactor machine expert. Analyze the alert and tell me what's going on. This is like pure magic. No code written. Only coding that we wrote is told AI that you are a CNC expert, you are a boiler expert. And it calculated the whole result for you right at the edge. Without any, again, this one is using chat GPT, so public. But if you are using the local versions, it will calculate it right at the edge. And what it will give you as a result is, as you pass it inside that, we can push the data into local database, we can push it into a local environment, and you can build local dashboards which are purely powered by AI. So here is the thing. We collected data, we transformed that data, we analyzed that data. We asked AI, tell me more about this data itself, and we did all of those things right at the edge, powered by AI, and built this Grafana dashboard. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it, might take, it might take a minute, but we built the dashboard which analyzed the alerts right away. And that is the power of integrating AI as a part of the data workflow, right here. Performance maintenance assistant, let's pick up one of them. So here is the maintenance log which is generated uh, out of the system. We are simulating the real data. We, have, we push it inside the environment and it is going to execute the query. It is going to take, this was the low temperature alarm. AI analyzed the alert. Here is the, what does that alert means? We didn't tell AI. It just analyzed it with the data, metadata context. And here is the maintenance plan that came out of it. Just mind blowing. Let's push it into any type of machines we have. It might be energy monitoring, condition monitoring, anything else that we want to do.